Sweden has finally chosen their act for the Eurovision 2023 Song Contest. I am recording this a day after, so let's... Yeah, if this is released later, please understand the context of when this was recorded. Lorene, the queen of Eurovision, is back. I heard a lot of good things. I heard stuff about the staging, so I'm not watching the official video. I'm watching what's happening here. Lorraine, Lorraine. Cool riff. I'm just stopping it before the pre-chorus. I know, I get it. Anyway, look, there are some people saying that this has been ripped off a little bit melodically from something else, and it kind of sounds a little bit familiar to... Um, there's part of the melody ha which has that... That's right, ABBA, the winner takes it all. But you know what, like it's that part of the melody. And then it goes into that winner takes it all chorus. But in all honesty, like, I don't know. I don't think it's an issue. I really think copyright is not as cut and dry as going, here's a melody and, and we've taken it. There's so much more to copyright than a melody. So I don't think this is ripping it off. And who's the composer of this? I mean, it's Sweden anyway. So I, is it somebody who maybe had some kind of hand in ABBA? I don't know. I don't think it's... I don't think it is. Okay. Yep. Okay, the beat. Excellent. Okay, so it's going to the verse now and it's picking up. Yeah, it feels like it's using that melodic theme throughout, even through the chorus, which is fine. I don't know, I don't I don't get, whatever. It's nice, hasn't really hit me yet. I think I've got in with really high expectations, but I mean, I love Sweden's last year. You know that if you've seen my video on it and it was pretty much my favorite, but let's see how this progresses because we've got about a minute and a half left. Yeah. It is, it is cool staging. Yeah. That's effective. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Okay, bridge time. I can tell you right now, it's lit it is growing on me because I can see this now for me as a grower. And if it's growing on me after only two minutes, it means that the chorus for me wasn't effective the first time, but it was the second time. And that ascending melodic sequence into the chorus is super effective. The bridge is coming up and then I'll give you my final thoughts. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Look, she's full of emotion. She's an awesome performer, that's for sure. There are some great aspects in this. Uh, I don't know if it's met my expectations at this point, but I know it's going to grow. Um, again, that sending. So if I go back here, because don't leave yet, because I usually give it a little bit of analysis. When the this part and it's excellent as a build into the chorus so that's called a melodic sequence because it goes it uses that but it goes up the scale one by one in that pattern so And then I did a wrong note there, but it's, it's a compositional device. And what happens here is that it actually in the accompaniment subliminally punches you towards the end without you knowing, because she doesn't bring that part back in melodically, vocally before the bridge, but let's hear it appear in the string part, which is really nostalgic straight from here. So she's singing the chorus again, but at the same time, hear that part in the strings, listen for the strings. Yeah. There it is. Yep, and then it happens again. It's good. There it is again. So it's pretty cool. Um, you know what? Maybe it actually happens in the first chorus as well. Let's see. Yeah, it does a lot more subliminally. So I picked it up a little bit later. Um, so what's happened here? And I think this is what makes this song so effective. Your introduction of that melody as a pre-chorus is used throughout subliminally again. And then that becomes, and then that becomes more of a subliminal message behind it, which really helps this composition grow. Excellent staging. I don't know how it's going to go in the actual time. She's an emotional performer, which is really what we want. We know we've seen Lorraine win this comp competition before, and it's a favorite at the moment. This is going to grow. Is it my favorite right now after listening to it for a first time? I don't think so. But will it be my favorite later? Quite possibly. Very interesting. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Let me know your comments down below. Until next time.